Hello, hello everyone. This is Lisa here and I got my hands on the Northern Lights Planners Anonymous printable creative kit. <laughs> and I'm so excited because the Northern Lights theme is one of my favorite themes from Planners Anonymous. So I get to play with this today and I have a special project um, in mind for it. So I thought I'd let you know what I'm going to be using. I'm going to be using, again, the Planners Anonymous um, Northern Lights printable creative kit. And so I printed out a couple of images for my project and I've already cut them on my silhouette portrait. And then I also have this printable um, patterned paper that I printed on my Canon here at home. This is 12 by 12, which is really exciting because these papers in this printable creative kit just happen to be formatted for 12 by 12. And so that is really exciting. How gorgeous is that? And then I'm also going to be using Lawn Fawn's pop-up platform and their pop-up add-on. And then I'm going to be, I may be using these, I'm not sure, Lawn Fawn inks, um, they are dye inks in Hippo and Moonstone. For sure I'm going to be using these. These are Lawn Fawn glitters, Prisma glitter, and Chunky glitter. I'm going to be using some 3D foam glue dots, some double-sided adhesive tape. I may be blending, I'm not sure, so I'm going to put this off to the side because it's not, I'm not really sure about that. Um, and I think that's about it. So I just finished printing another page. Hold on just a minute. I printed this scene as well, which is a beautiful snowy winter um, um, tree scene. I just think it's gonna be perfect for this project. So here is what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this off here. a couple of die cuts that I created. So this is in the artwork folder of the printable creative kit. Okay, so we have a couple of those. We have an igloo, we have a tree, we have a stamp, <laughs> super cute stamp. And then I printed the and cut the igloo in two different sizes because um, I'm not sure which one I'm gonna use. We have a little bear. We have a mama bear, another postage stamp, and you'll see why I cut um, three of these. Ah, so pretty. And a cloud. Okay, so put this aside. So I think I have everything now. I'm just gonna do some die cutting and some assembling, and I thought I would bring you along because I wanted to show you how these Planners Anonymous planner supplies <laughs> work so well with your card making equipment and supplies. I just, I love to cross um, those equipments and supplies, both planning and card making, because I just feel like card making supplies can be used for planning and planning supplies can be used for card making. And so I love to cross those over. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're going to assemble a platform pop-up. And again, this is three different purchases um, in one envelope that I have here. So I have the Lawn Fawn um, platform pop-up, which is this large area here. That is that set. And then I have the platform pop-up um, add-on. And I believe the add-on I'm pretty sure it's this piece. I could have them switched around, but I have two different pieces on here. So I'm pretty sure it's this piece. And then there's a platform pop-up hillside wraparound, which is this piece. Um, yeah, I think that's right. Anyway, I've never used this one yet. This one I've used a couple of times and this I've used a couple of times. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab this platform die and I'm gonna move all this stuff out of the way here. Don't need that. I keep any extras that I've cut for this die, well, with any of my stamps or dies, I keep them in the envelope in case I need them, but anyway. Okay, so we're gonna use um, this big part here um, to cut out two from this gorgeous patterned paper. And before I do that, I am just gonna cut this. Oh, I can't use this trimmer, it's too small. So I'll be right back. I'm gonna go walk around to the other table in my craft room and I'm gonna trim this 12 by 12 paper into quarters so that I have um, four six by sixes. So let me just go over here and do that. Okay. 
so I've trimmed these down to six by six. And again, this is just what's so great about the 12 by 12 papers is you can trim them down. Um, okay, so then we have some trees, we have more flowers, we have this um, sky background. And again, I printed these double-sided, so they're really gorgeous. Um, here's more trees. Okay, and then we should have that and one more sky background. Perfect. All right. So with this, these flower pieces here, I'm going to go ahead and cut um, this ma main part of the pop-up platform die. And as you can see, it fits perfectly onto a 6x6. Six six. So that is good. Okay, so I'm going to go over to my die cutting machine, which is just right here over to my left. I'm going to cut two of these. So let's do that really quick. I almost feel like I should just do this project twice. It's just going to be such a beautiful card. Um, but since I'm recording for the sake of time, I'll go ahead and just do it once for now. But I have enough supplies to do it twice. So there's one. Let me do one more. And then I need to cut um, three, let's see, let me put this back, oops. And then I need to cut three of these T-shaped um, little thingies here. And so I have some leftover white cardstock from the die cuts um, that I print and cut. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this. And this I can trim on this trimmer. I'm just going to trim it to make it a little bit easier. Um, as far as my die cutting machine, I use an Anna Griffin Empress. Um, and it does accommodate for 8.5 by 11 um, letter size paper, but I just like to trim it down. It just makes it easier for me. Okay, so I'm going to cut this die three times. and one more And then let's see. I am going to. Okay, so that's all for this particular die um, for the pop up platform die. And then with the add on, I am going to cut with this piece right here. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to pick the best one for trees. So I'm going to, okay, so that might be good. And this might be even better. So I'm kind of, I'm gonna position it um, and I'm gonna tape it, well, I don't really need to tape it down, but um, I'm gonna position it like this. I want it to cut like this. I want some trees in my background. And you'll see what this piece does in just a minute. So um, when we assemble. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this down and cut it. back 
and then now we have this piece as well. I'm going to keep my scrap, of course. And now we're going to get to assembling. So now these pieces here, I'm going to keep. Oh, so gorgeous. Look at this. So beautiful. I'm so excited about this kit. I love to print um, printable images, especially from Planners Anonymous. They're my favorite. Okay, so I'm gonna need my bone folders. Let me grab that. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna assemble the platform first. And Lawn Fawn has some great examples um, on their um, YouTube channel on how to assemble this, but I'm gonna go ahead and do it here. So I'm gonna fold on these. There's some score lines here that the die created. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, you can see that. Okay, so there's some score lines and you're just gonna go ahead and fold on those lines, just like so. Okay, and there's one more here. And then there's some here on this side. And then I'm going to do the same with this one. And there's a little slit here, too. So we're just going to fold. God, this print came out so gorgeous. I can't even remember what um, paper I printed on. I have it in my stash, but it didn't have, like, a label as to what it was so I wish I could reference it below in the description but I just pulled it out of an envelope that was not labeled so unfortunately I don't know um, which cardstock this is but it feels a little buttery so if I were to guess I were to guess it's Canon um, double-sided printable 12 by 12 paper and I have the Canon um, craft printer, which prints 12 by 12, so a borderless, so it's just absolutely amazing if you want to print your own um, cardstock at home. Okay, especially since Planners Anonymous has these incredible patterned papers that you can purchase, download, and print at home. Um, as many times as you would like um, because I think a lot of times with the physical kit which I have as well and it also came with papers it came with letter size papers um, we or I <laughs> tend to hoard them because they're so gorgeous and until a digital um, or printable kit comes out I kind of hoard them because I want to like save them for special projects so having these kits available to us where we can download and print at home really helps me um, use the kit, really use it. And so as soon as I got my hands on this kit, I was like, yep, I'm going to make something. Okay, I'm just gonna make sure this is straight. Okay. So I just wanna um, flatten my um, fold lines just so that they're nice and crisp. Um, you don't have to do this part, but I enjoy it, so okay. And now we're gonna be working with these pieces from the inside, because um, this is the outside that I want showing, and I'm gonna be working from the inside. And I'm gonna take these little T's, I'm gonna fold them here. There's a little, um, again, there's a score line there. Let's see if I can get it on camera. I'll probably get it on this one, let's see. There it is, you can see that score line, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and fold and score or fold and use my little tool there okay so those are folded now and then with this third one um, what I'm gonna want to do is on that line here instead of folding it I'm actually gonna trim this down with some scissors okay so we're gonna go ahead and trim that down just like that. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's not going to show, so you don't have to worry um, if it's not if it's not perfectly straight. You don't have to use a paper trimmer. Okay. So what we're going to do with these is I'm going to get out my double-sided adhesive. And we're 
we're going to work with this and this. And I'm going to move these um, die cuts aside a little bit. So I'm going to work with my quarter inch adhesive, double sided adhesive. And I'm also going to grab this little tool here is great for cutting my adhesive. So I'm going to pull these over. I'm going to put a little bit of adhesive here on this little tab. Oops. adhesive on this guy I don't know if you guys can hear my heater it's on like full blast <laughs> and then I'm also going to put some adhesive on this tab right here On this tab over here and do the same for this other one and onto this tab here. And then while I'm at it, I might as well put the tape on here. So I'm going to put tape on this one that we cut down. I'm just going to put um, double-sided tape from here down, just right here on this part. While I'm here. with this quarter inch tape for now. Okay, so let's get back to this. I'm working from the inside out. I'm gonna take my two pieces here that I've applied um, tape to, and I'm going to go ahead and feed this through here for both of them. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fold at this line this crease right here and I'm going to take off this adhesive and I'm going to make sure this t-bar here is lined up nicely you know I'm just going to kind of pull it a little bit and I'm going to tape that down then I'm going to go ahead and remove this one I'm going to go up one step just like this fold that down and then tuck this under and adhere that just like that Okay, I'm going to do the same thing for here on this one, the second one. So you need two pieces. Make sure that this is nice and straight. Move this liner. I'm going to go up one and fold it under, just like that. Okay, and then what we're going to do is we're going to butt this up and we're gonna connect these two. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the grid line on my background here and this is gonna help me. Okay, so that looks pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove this liner if I can. And my piece has just moved. Okay, so I'm gonna line that up just make sure they're butted up against each other. And I'm gonna go ahead and adhere that there. And then before I connect these two together like this, I have to do a little bit more work. <laughs> so this piece here, I'm gonna go ahead and take off these layers, okay? And then I'm just gonna, um, on one side only, I'm gonna go ahead and place this. There's a score line right here. I don't know if you can see it, but the score line. So I'm gonna place the bottom of this T-bar on that score line, and I'm just gonna have it parallel to this top one that I've already installed. 
So we're just gonna put that there, just like that. It doesn't have to be absolutely perfect. Just eyeball it. You don't have to bring out your ruler. And then you're gonna um, press that down because you have some adhesive on this lower half, okay? And then what you're gonna do on this half, there's a little panel right here. You can kind of see it when I fold it up like this. You're gonna go ahead and put double-sided adhesive. You can use your quarter inch um, since I already had that out. And we're gonna put some adhesive here. So one side is gonna get that extra third T-bar treatment, <laughs> and the other side is gonna get this um, adhesive, okay? All right, and now what we're gonna do is we're going to undo this adhesive here, take off the liner, Okay, and then we're gonna go ahead and place this on to this one. We're just gonna fold it over. It should line up just fine. You wanna line up your little scallops here, just like this. And then you wanna press to secure that. Okay, and then you're gonna remove your liner on this last part and connect everything. And just tuck it under. I had it like this. I'm gonna tuck this under like this and just press down. Just like that. And this pop-up platform is done. So what it does is it folds flat for easy mailing if you wanna mail this to somebody. Um, and then you just pop it up like this and it creates this platform that can sit on your desk or it can sit you know, on a mantle or wherever you want it. So we have our um, beautiful platform here, but we're not done. And so I haven't decided um, if I'm making this as a card that I can send out or if I want it for my planner desk, because if you've watched my previous videos, you'll know that um, for the month of January, I'm using Northern Lights, this particular theme, uh, for the entire month of January in my planner. And so I thought that this would be so beautiful to create and set on my planner desk just as additional decoration uh, for the month of January. And you never know, I may do this every month as I change my themes for my planner. I may create a new little display for my desk. So I haven't decided if I'm gonna <laughs> do that or if I'm gonna send this out for a birthday. Um, and that is why I had printed both um, create and inspire. I thought that would be so nice to have on my desk. I was just going to put that here in the front and you'll see as this project comes along. And then I have this one because I thought, oh, do I want to use it for a birthday? Look at how pretty. Hey, I got something on there. I got something on the paper. It's a little spot on there. Anyway, um, so I didn't know if I wanted the sentiment to be um, make a wish in case I wanted to send this out for a birthday. But you can see that the possibilities um, for various projects are there. All right, so then what I wanted to add to this is I wanted to add a background to the scene. Now you can um, use this just like this um, and add your little 3D elements as we go further with the project. And you don't have to have the background that I'm gonna add to it, which is an add-on from Lawn Fawn. Um, but I thought because of this beautiful snowy background, I just thought it would be perfect for this project. So I'm gonna go ahead and add this. There are score, there are two score lines going down like this. They're kind of hard to see on this patterned paper, but they are there. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and fold on those score lines, just like this. Fold, and I'm gonna go ahead and use my bone folder to get some nice, good creases. Oh, the pink on the other side is just stunning. Okay, so we have it like this, and then I'm gonna turn it over to the back side, and I'm gonna apply this 1 8 of an inch double-sided tape to the back bottom base right here and then we're gonna attach it to our platform. Perfect. And so what's gonna happen is this is gonna be inset 
right in here and it's going to adhere to the inside part of this section right here okay and so what i did too i was originally working with it like this as the front but for some reason this little black part of the flower was kind of throwing off my scallops i know i'm a weirdo um so i decided to use this side because i thought it was prettier <laughs> okay so anyway this is just gonna sit right in here just like that and we're gonna adhere that and it's gonna create a little background isn't that so cute okay so let's go ahead and do that take off this release okay and then i'm gonna carefully apply this so i'm gonna get a little closer here See, I have it too high. I need to put it a little bit lower. I don't want it to stick yet, but it's sticking. There we go. There we go. Looks good. This side needs to go a little bit lower. Okay, is that gonna work? Let's see. I feel like, okay, so that side is good. I think it's this side that's a little wonky. I wanna make sure it's good because I want it to be able to collapse and then pop up really nicely. Okay, I think that's good. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and lay it flat like this so that I can really press down that adhesive that's right here in between these two layers that I'm pressing. Okay, all right. So now, as you can see, we have our little pop-up and it turns into a platform, how cute. Okay, so now we're gonna decorate this. <laughs> um, I just realized I kinda wanted to add some glitter to those trees, but I think we can still do that, kind of. Um, yeah, I wanna do that. Okay, we're gonna do it. So what I'm gonna do, before we decorate the whole thing, I'm gonna go ahead and get my um, Lawn Fawn, I think I'm gonna use the Prisma glitter instead of the Chunky glitter. Um, okay, and then I'm gonna need a scrap paper because I should have done this before I attached it to the platform. So here's a piece of scrap. I'm gonna take my um, Quickie glue pen. This is by, um, let's see. Well, I'll link it below. And this is just um, glue. It's really great. This is perfect for applying glitter, so don't be afraid of applying glitter. <laughs> so I'm just going to go here and I'm just going to add some lines of glue here on the tree, just like that. And some in the center too. I'm just kind of going over the lines that are on this artwork already. Okay, and I don't have to worry about it drying because with this um, quickie glue pen, um, it stays tacky. So just remember that. Just It's not like it dries clear and it just dries not tacky. It absolutely um, stays tacky, which is makes it great for glue. Oh, for glitter, excuse me. Okay, I think I'm gonna use Chunky for that particular part. Okay, so I'm gonna close that. And then I think I have a spoon I can use. Um, okay, I'm gonna take the chunky glitter and I'm gonna make a mess. <laughs> okay, so look at that beautiful chunky glitter. I'm gonna 
gonna try not to get it on the platform. I just want it on this artwork. Just like that. Probably used way more than I need, but you know. I'm gonna tap that off and try not to make a huge mess. Oh, oh my goodness. Yes. Yep. Okay. Let's make sure that is topped off really well. Don't want any excess glitter. Okay. Yes. Yes, please. Yes. Okay. Oh, I'm so glad. All right, so now I'm gonna put this back in here. I'm gonna to attempt to do it without having a disaster. All right, not so bad. And I think I'll use the Prisma glitter for the rest of the project. So we have this mess here. If you don't have this, you need it. I will link it below. It's a little mini desk vacuum <laughs> and it's excellent for glitter. It is just going to pick up all the glitter and it will be like I never worked with glitter, which is freaking amazing because I hesitate with glitter because it's messy, right? But if you have this little vacuum, you don't have to worry about the glitter. All right. So now that <laughs> so it is so pretty. That is just so pretty and it just glistens in the light. It's a beautiful scene. Okay, you know what? To finish that background, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and attach the cloud. I wanted the cloud um over here right here. This is another piece from the art um portion of this kit. And should I pop it up? No, I think I'm gonna go ahead and lay it flat. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my uh, Barely Art glue. I'm gonna lay it flat. I was gonna pop it up, but I'm just gonna lay it flat. And that's a little bit too much glue. glue so I'm gonna use my scrap paper. Oh, this glue like needs to be shaken or something because it's a little watery. Now, I wouldn't use the Quickie glue pen to attach paper to paper. I just don't think it's strong enough. I just really, really, really like it for glitter, um, but not to adhere two pieces together. Yeah, this is really watery. I don't know what the deal is here. Let's try that again. A little bit better. And I just brought that out from my supply. Maybe I just haven't used it enough. So I'm gonna go ahead and place that cloud right there. Close this. Okay. I need a little bit more glue on the side. And take a small acrylic block and I'm just going to place it on there so that it lays flat for now. All right, and so before I start assembling the scene, I'm definitely going to glitter first. So I'm going to go ahead and put this off to the side just like this. And then I have these, look at I have this cute little peekaboo bear. And then I have this mama bear. And then I have a tree and an igloo. Um, and then these other pieces, I have another igloo because I don't know what size I'm gonna use. Um, these other pieces, I'm not sure. I mean, they're gonna go around the platform on the base. And so I don't think I need to glitter them, but I'm not sure. But these pieces for sure, I want glittered. So we're gonna go ahead and glitter them while this is drying. Again, I'm gonna take my quickie glue pen and I'm just going to do some little squiggles right here in between so that it'll look like ice. Just like that. 
Okay, so that one's done. I'm gonna do this one as well because I don't know which one I'm gonna use. And then, of course, this tree. So just along the edges here, you know, you just do whatever you prefer. And then um, these little edges here and these little speckles. So this one's really going to be glittered <laughs> just like that. OK, and then the bear. Um, let me see. What will I glitter? I think I'll just kind of go along um, just like this and just kind of outline his face and his ears. And then the mama bear, um, I'll do the same thing to her face here and her ears, she's beautiful. And then I'm just gonna kind of outline the artwork here. just like that. Okay, so now that those are glittered, I'm gonna try not to make a mess. I'm gonna use um, my tweezers here, my reverse tweezers. And because these pieces are so small, I can just dunk them into um, this container of Prisma Glitter. So it's Lawn Fawn Prisma Glitter. And I can just grab this cute little face and I'm just going to attach it here because I do not want to dunk my hands into glitter. And I'm just going to dunk it like this. Then I'm going to use my quickie glue pen to just knock off any excess. <laughs> and it's glittered. Let's see if you can see it. Cute. Okay. Next is Mama Bear. Where should I hold it? Take a nice little dunk in the snow. two sides like that like that oh that's pretty that is pretty <laughs> And you want to make sure to cover all the glue because otherwise, like I had mentioned earlier, it'll remain tacky and you don't want that. Especially because this card or display collapses flat, you definitely don't want to have any sticky spots because it'll get stuck for sure. All right. So we have our, oh, I want to make sure I get glitter on that piece that I was using to hold. Okay, close this up before we make more of a mess. Vacuum, and you can also just place a piece of paper, scrap paper down wherever you're glittering and you can just uh, roll that up and throw it away. But since I have this vacuum, it's just convenient. Okay, now, <laughs> I'm so excited. Okay, so this cloud should be stuck and it is perfect, okay. So we're gonna go ahead, I'm going to, 
Okay, I'm gonna work on the inside. I was gonna work on the outside, but I'm not sure if I wanna glitter any of those things. So, now, these little tabs are intended for you to attach your little scene pieces, like the bears and the um, tree igloo, you know, things like that. That's how you attach them to this platform and they become 3D. So, um, but before I do that, I wanted to cover these up. Um, you don't have to, but I do want to cover them up. And so I print and cut these little flower elements, even though I know flowers wouldn't really survive in the snow, but they're just so pretty that um, I don't care. And I wanna put them here um, to cover the strips. That's why I did three and I sized them so they would fit here. However, I think they might be a little too tall. So I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna cut them just with my scissors. It's not gonna be anything fancy. Um, I'm gonna cut this one like maybe in half, just like that. And then this one, I'm gonna cut less than half because I kind of want them tiered. Just like that. And then this one here, I'm just gonna trim off the, the white space at the bottom. Or try to. Just like that. Okay. So now, um, I think of, instead of using this glue that's a little watery right now, I don't know why, I'm going to turn these over and I'm just going to place um, some one eighth of an inch double sided tape to the back of them. Okay, some of this to the bottom. So with this die set for the platform, just wanted to explain really quick. They do have these pieces that you can cut out to cover those little tabs. So this is a hillside and then they also have some grass that you can cut um, and it's perfectly sized to fit right over these pieces. So you could use that as well. But I just thought that these, these flowers were just so pretty that I was like, I want them in my scene. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and use these instead. Okay, so this is the tallest one, so I'm gonna place this in the back. And I'm just gonna take this like this, and I'm just gonna line this up with that back piece, just like that. And try to get it straight, which is almost impossible today. one okay then I'm gonna do why doesn't it want to stay shut I think I may have installed this is, might be too low because I think it's pushing it down and wanting it to collapse but once it's on your um, your desk it's not gonna collapse because you're not gonna be touching it but anyway so just be careful with that and I'll be careful with that on my next project I think that's what's happening Okay, so this is the second highest row of flowers, so I'm gonna set that down. Just like that. Okay, and then my little tiny one. And again, you can just collapse it like this so you can push down that adhesive. All right. 
now we have some flowers just kind of covering up those tabs and they're just absolutely gorgeous um okay so then i'm going to create my scene and i think i want okay i think it keeps doing that i don't want it to do that okay there so let's see as far as the igloo so you're not going to really be able to see me creating this scene quite yet but I'm um, because the camera is not facing this way it's facing this way <laughs> but I'm just gonna visually do it so I know where my pieces are gonna go I want that mama bear there I want this tree maybe this tree will be right, right next to her and then maybe the igloo or do I want the smaller igloo and then this little guy. Let's see. <laughs> He's so cute. Um, let's see. So I'm just placing these down so I can kind of see my scene. Oh God, it's so pretty. Now I'm wondering, I'm just gonna kind of see what happens if I switch things around. Up. Almost makes me want to um, vacuum these pieces <laughs> to pick up like any excess glitter. had another idea so I'm just testing it out if I put that there instead and pop it up and then the igloo no and then the mama bear because she's kind of tall maybe she'll go right here and then the igloo can go right here and then the little baby bear can be naughty hiding over here Okay, I like that. That's what I'm gonna do. Okay, I think I got it, I think I got it. So this piece right here is gonna be popped up onto the background. Um, so it's gonna be placed kind of like the cloud, but I'm only I'm gonna put it on some foam squares because I want it to be three dimensional. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn that over. Place this right here. And I think that'll be enough because it's just going to lay onto there. And then I'm going to go ahead and place it. <gasps> Make sure there's no loose glitter. Make sure I get good adhesion. And I'm going to place that right there in that spot um, in between the trees. And as you can see, everything still collapses. So we're still good. Okay. And then the mama bear is going to go at the bottom. I'm going to use... Um, the um actually i'm going to use my tape cutter this one right here and i'm just going to apply I'm gonna apply it on this release paper 
and I'm just going to apply some tape right here at the base. Just like that. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and press her down in place where I want her. She's so precious. Perfect. Just like that. And you can see that the scene is um, really taking shape. It's beautiful. And again, it just collapses like this. And Mama Bear is gone. <laughs> Isn't that neat? Okay, so let's go ahead and adhere the igloo as well. And I think I decided to go with, should I go with the smaller one or the bigger one? I don't know. The bigger one is really nice. I think I was initially going with the smaller one, but the bigger one, um, it just, you know, it looks, it looks good. It looks like she's far away and it looks like that. Yeah, I'm going to use the bigger one. Okay. Here's our scene so far. Okay. Then we're gonna go ahead and put this little, <laughs> this little rascal. Now, I think I need, um, because I kinda want him behind, the, do I want him behind the flower bed? Or No, I'm gonna put him in front. Um, but I feel like he needs, um, I feel like he needs like a little stem so that he doesn't get lost. I feel like I need a little more um, area to place glue. So I'm just gonna take this scrap paper that I had um, and I'm just going to make a little stem that will secure him. So let's see. Just like this. And I am going to secure him to this top part. Just like this. And then this bottom part I can secure to the flower bed, but I'm gonna need to cut it a little bit shorter. And add some adhesive. Perfect. And then believe it or not, I'm gonna try and get that flower bed like right in between these two. I want him peeking just like this. Okay, it needs to be shorter. Perfect. <laughs> it's perfect. Okay, do I want him in the middle? Yeah, I think I want him in the middle. <laughs> He's so cute. Okay, and I'm going to press that down again. I'm going to close it so that I can get really good adhesion. Put that away. This stuff, put in the trash. All right, so we have our scene completely built. Now I'm just gonna decorate the outside. But as you can see, our scene appears when you push this up and it's absolutely gorgeous. I love the glitter. Um, it's just really cute, so you can kind of see that from the sides. I love the pink on the other side and on the inside here because we use it. Um, we use double-sided patterned paper, so we have pink on there. There, you can kind of see how that comes together. That is just beautiful, and I think I want this at my planner desk. I don't think I'm going to mail this out, and if I want to mail one out, I can always make another, right? Okay, so I kind of feel like the cloud needs glitter. <laughs> like everything's glittered except for the cloud. Um, but I think I'm going to leave it for now. If anything, you know what? Maybe I'll add some Wink of Stella. That way it's just subtly, um, has just a subtle shine. So let's do that. Um, Wink of Stella is just this really cool shimmer um, in a pen like some mica shimmer. And so now that has some shimmer, not as much as the glitter, but it's not very dull. It has some shimmer. Let's add a little bit more. I'm 
trying to get more on the brush by squeezing and I just don't want it to gush. And I think it's actually out <laughs> because nothing's coming. All right. I think that's good enough, really. I mean, there's like a lot of glitter going on. Okay, so now what I wanna do is I wanna decorate um, these two side panels and this front panel. And so what I wanted to do is I wanted to put the stamps, because they're so cute, um, on the sides with some um, pop-up adhesives. So these two little stamp artwork. These two here. They're so precious. So it's, a, it's oops, I have that one upside down. So it's an, a postage stamp with like a little envelope and some flowers. And then that little guy is making another appearance. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn these over, um, put some foam tape on there, and then put them in place. And we're almost done with our project. Oh wait, does this go like this? No, it go, I think it goes. Mm. No, it goes like this. I'm going to set that right there. So this is so cool because you can totally mail this to somebody. Um, it doesn't fit in a regular A2 size envelope, which is I'm which I'm typically used to sending. It would fit in a five by seven, so I'd have to make a custom envelope, which is no problem because again, these patterned papers are 12 by 12 size, so making a five by seven envelope would be no problem. Okay, so now I have to decide whether I want create and inspire in the front, or do I want make a wish? Um, I love the pink of Make-A-Wish. I just, I just love that. But if it's going to be on my planner desk, I kind of like the idea of create and spy and inspire. Hmm. Plus, I got something on this Make-A-Wish one. I don't know what it is. It's a little dot. I don't think it can be erased. I don't know what that is. It must have been on the paper, maybe. Um. I don't want to use this. I just, I love the pink. But, okay, I'm going to use the Create Inspire. And do I want it flat or do I want it popped up? I want it popped up. So, I will, will these fit in there? Mm, I think I'm going to cut them down a little bit. I'm just going to cut it diagonally like this. And I don't think, I'm not going to glitter it or do anything like that. I think I like it just like, just as it is. Let me go ahead and place this here. I think I'm going to use my little T-square so I can make sure that I get it straight. So I'm just going to line this up with the right-hand side. And make sure that I get it straight. this a little bit so we can get a good view of the project for today. All right. So there it is. It's a pop-up platform using the Northern Lights printable 
creative kit and look at that scene. It's so pretty. Let me get that. Hopefully it'll focus. Let's wait for it to focus. You can do it. Come on camera. You can do it. Let's see. Uh, maybe not. Maybe so. Maybe not. Who knows? Anyway, so there we have our little um, Northern Light scene. Again, it can fold just like this, so you can mail it out if you would like to, if you'd like to create a greeting card um, instead of um, something just for your planner desk. <laughs> um, I love it. I hope you enjoyed it. And go out and grab your Northern Lights printable creative kit and get to creating, because this was a fun, fun project. And there's the little stamps on the sides. They're so cute. And then the back even looks good too. So if you were to send this as a card, you can write a little message here and your recipient can place this on their mantle or their desk or whatever they would like. So pretty, love it. All right, you guys, until the next video, we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.